very lucky in the sense that there's no through traffic. It's this is the it's the destination. It's not a passing point. You have two bays out there: Tramore Bay and Blacksword Bay, and both bays are safe for swimming and everything else. So Lawrence Howard, um, Belmont Coast Guard Station, Clagan Island. We provide um, self-catering and glamping facilities for tourists from all over the world. The self-catering way has been open since 2010 and the glamping since 2014. So we've had a few years at it now. We had a, an original self-catering house, a little cottage at the front of the island um, from probably about 97. And we knew when we were building the Coast Guard Station or rebuilding it here in 2009, 2010, we knew the market was there for there was a lot of inquiries in that, so we said we'd try and get into that market a bit more. So we developed the self-catering site. We split the house in two. We live in one part, we let off the other. And then when I was moving home in 2013, we knew we needed a bit more, so the idea of the, the pods was born. We would have been one of the original pods in, in May, or yes. Yeah, we got in at the early days. <laughs> we have four boys ourselves from 18 months up to 10 years. So during the summertime, we have kids from all over the world here, every nationality, and the boys are out there kicking football. They mightn't even speak the same language, but they're out there kicking ball with their with their friends, guys that had only arrived 10 minutes earlier are their friends, and it's a great education for them. Clagan Island itself, we have part of the North Mayo Country Trail, the Tearsala site is down in front of the Coast Guard station here, and the acknowledgement site. Um, a lot of people, you have your beach, you have swimming, you have walks to the back of the island where you'll see the seals and otters and all sorts of wildlife. The whole area prides itself on there's still that real genuine cave meal of culture. We love to see people coming, we love to make them welcome. My dad would have taken over the farm in 1980, worked day and night to bring it from what it was to where it is. We work together on a daily basis doing all that has to be done. He says he's a, a good sub, but he's, he's more than that. He said he's not a man for the 90 minutes, but he'll, he'll put in a good hour shift. Uh, he has great pride in the whole area, but I suppose especially in Clagan Island it's, uh, itself. What he took on back in the 80s to where it is today, there's no resemblance. Like, you know, he has worked really hard. The main thing we're, we're looking to provide is, I suppose, a sense of what we feel every day. We feel very lucky to live where we do. Peace, quiet, tranquility, safety. It's a place to unwind and just forget, switch off, you know, just get into what's here, go for a walk, sit outside the pod, take in the, the scenery. It changes by the second when the tide's in, when the tide's out, the clouds are moving, the sun is coming up, the sun is going down. That's what we want people to, to get a, a sense of what we feel we're very lucky to have here.